Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you guys who have been around for a very, very long time, you knew I did some training pack showcases at the very, very start of my YouTube days, uh, which was about a year and a bit ago. Um, but I actually just found out recently from a community spotlight from Rocket League that they uh, they announced that the top 10 training packs, one of mine, were actually in the top 10 of most played in 2019. Uh, all of the top 10 were played over 10 million times, which is insane. I'd love to know what the exact number that mine got, but uh, we're gonna jump right into it just to check it out um so this is the one that i uh i created so this is the training pack here it's redirect mechanics warm up i created this in probably early 2017 when training packs first came out i was doing a series of like making a training pack every week and stuff um but you can see this one i've i've actually just recently refavorited this because it was on an older computer but uh it says local version modified don't worry about that that's just because i uh hit edit by accident <laughs> um but Basically, these are the 15 shots that apparently people love to, to play with. I've got Bacchus Mod on, which allows me to uh, randomize the, the, the shots. What we'll do is we'll jump into it, just show you every every single one. And then what I'll do is I'll try to get a 15 out of 15. All right, let's get into the first shot here. It's a pretty high one. Get the top bins here. It's a uh, it's pretty difficult pack. Like, all the shots are pretty intense, like, as far as, like, what it's demanding of you. Not the greatest shot, but I do get it in. Um basically just it's here for you to warm up and just get really good touches before you jump into a ranked game or something just get get used to hitting the top crossbar what i usually use it for is i usually use it for like getting very accurate touches and just getting a really solid hit into the goal um that is like unexpected by the opponent a lot of these you probably wouldn't go for anymore in 2019 just because of how the the games change Let's see if i can get this on the way back nice sometimes i like to use like the backward read afterwards because that can confuse the opponents too if they think you're going to touch it first and then come in on it so far so good though oh missed the first one try to adjust it there we go maybe we'll go for 100 right now look at this doing pretty well oh it's quite a high one ah that's the first miss and uh like i said box mod can uh can mirror these shots uh so if i reset here let's see there it is. Try this side. Kind of started late, but maybe I can still get it. No. Top corner? Oh, close. So yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so Bacchus Mod can like mirror them now, which is a new feature uh, from not from when the game originally had training packs started. Um, Bacchus Mod is really helpful for a lot of stuff. Like my car right now, the design I have is all because of Bacchus Mod as well, except for the, obviously the Alpha Boost and the uh, the Cobalt 20, 20XX I also have. Oof, just barely skimmed it. So with this one, you gotta like kind of come across and then like change your angle. Um, usually what I like to do is boost past it, then boost around to try and scoop it like that. And you can sometimes get like a really good skim on the ball to get a top top bar like that. Underside of the car, like on the wheels, is like really, really good for, for softening a, a, a ball just to get under the crossbar. Like I said, most of the time here, like I'm just trying to get like without a bounce into the goal. Because when you're trying to shoot like on target in a in a game, you want the opponents to have to make a save and hit the ball away from themselves. So that way like the offense can follow through. I'm gonna try the backward thing again here. There we go. I'll try it regularly too, just to Oh, that's really high. Yeah, this one's really high, so you have to like really get above it. There you go. That's why I thought I'd try that one as well, because that one is pretty difficult to actually redirect. Not too bad though. Usually, like I said, like I go, I go past it, and then come back down on it. It's a pretty tight shot here. The air roll kind of helps uh, at the final shot there. But I'm curious what like made this one of the top played uh, packs for 20, 2019. I'm not, I'm not sure what people used it for. Maybe uh, people that use it can tell me in the comments. I'm curious because uh, I used to just use this just to jump in when I first started playing and just get solid touches. Maybe people like to try and like create new shots like uh, like try to do a Devo or something or like something like this where you go like double. See if I can do that. Or off the ceiling. <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah, I'm curious. Anyway, I'm gonna try to rewrite this one because I didn't actually rewrite it. It's already in. That's actually kind of funny. I didn't even realize that. But yeah, usually like I, I, whenever I try to like, practice these, I wouldn't just like shoot it just anywhere. Like I don't want it to bounce or whatever. I kind of want to keep it high, make it difficult. That's kind of like how you want to practice. Oops. There we go. Mirrored over. Ooh, that's the kind of skimming I'm talking about. Like where it goes like top, top bin like that. There we go. That's kind of looking for. I was kind of looking for like a, a wheel hit up into the corner crossbar. Nice. So 60%. Not bad. Ooh, there we go. First one. Pretty clean. Let's see if we can get this. Nice. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be focusing on trying to get every goal. Nice. And hopefully without uh, any bouncing as well. That'd be that'd be better, obviously. Pretty much the same shot. I think uh, what happened was because uh, of the Bacchus mod mirroring and stuff, those are probably opposite sides with slightly different uh, shots. You know what I mean? And since Bacchus mod mirrored it, it actually just ended up being like pretty similar of a shot right away. Probably one of the hardest like ones with height to score. We did it. Oof. Nice. That obviously wasn't like the strongest shot or whatever, but it could it could misdirect an opponent. There we go. So I mean obviously if you just take your time with the shots, you can probably get hundred percent pretty easily if you're like mechanical in the game. <clears throat> but I'm just trying to make sure it's actually like a decent shot. Ooh. Nice. Top bins again. Getting kinda nervous. Does that count? Oh no. I mean, I guess it'll count. <laughs> I wish I didn't like reduce the timer on some of these. Cause uh, you know, 10 seconds to shoot that ball. Obviously uh, it's not that difficult. Same with this. Ooh, a bouncer shot. I'll take it though. We're only two away. Nice. This is the last one. Ooh, it's one of the harder ones too. All right. Well, we got 100%. I mean, they weren't the best shots all around, but that's what I was going for. Um, yeah, I, I'm really glad that uh, Psyonix is like, you know, paying attention to their training pack stuff because I feel like they've kind of neglected it since it came out. Um, but hopefully they do more with it since they've announced the community spotlight. Um, definitely check out the other packs that are in the list. I'll, uh, I'll leave them in the description. Verge is actually one of the ones in the top 10 as well. Uh, I think he was just above me or the one 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 more above me. But I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little preview of, of the shots and stuff. Um, definitely a great pack to get warmed up when you first start out in the game. I, I use this one a lot and I use Jayla's XXL redirect pack. And I'll put that in the description as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I thought I'd just quickly thank you guys for a great 2019. I know we're not really quite at the end of the year yet, but I just recently hit 140,000 subscribers and I couldn't be happier with how the channel's going. Uh, I'm really enjoying making the videos and, you know, doing the streaming content and stuff on Twitch as well. But yeah, I couldn't complain, obviously, because it's been a great year and I'd, I've had a lot of changes since I've been off pro and everything like that. And you guys have been really supportive. If you're enjoying the uh, daily content and you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to subscribe. Uh, it's huge in supporting me. There's actually currently around 70% of you guys who aren't subscribed when you guys watch my videos. So hopefully if you enjoy what you see, you'll jump into the subscription box and, uh, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.